What's happening, people? Today we're back, and we're going to continue on to our adventure. I'm not sure how long the episode, previous episode was, but my apologies if it was too long, because I kind of forgot <laughs> how long we were doing that episode for. But anyways, we are going to continue. Actually, I will put it down on a timer. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion, because I'll probably train up Score Bunny a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself into the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Uh, mark out on the front. That's the Bowman Research Lab. Okay, I can do that. But uh, let me put down this timer real quick as I make sure I don't take forever doing this. Uh, 25 minutes, perfect. That's a perfect time to record and end the video. What are you guys doing in the way? You wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping wooly, right? Better take the long way around. Can I just walk right past him? They're not like bundled up to each other too much, so come on. Oh, potion. Wish it was a puck ball. I wish this Pokemon were like overworld, like, like that, but they aren't. Actually, are they? Let me see. Paralyzed Hills. Cool, you tell me the I am subscription, this one. Oh, so the Pokemon are overworld. Oh, that's amazing. Perfect. Just like, let's go, Pikachu. The Charizard is still here. The ultimate Charizard. What's this place? Hello, oh, Saw. Can I talk to you? Don't let me talk to him. Okay. Hey, mister. Let me sit down and talk to you. I can't even talk to him. In my opinion, that's a good thing. Because obviously, why we make conversation with these people if you don't have any, if you don't need to make association with them? Because I'm not going anywhere besides the research lab. So, champions here. Yeah. yeah, these characters don't even have dialogue. It makes sense, but how do I obtain items? Then? If I can't talk with everyone. I have to talk to all these NPCs, right? In order to get items. That's rather grand... That rather grand building beside us in the... Po it's the Pokemon Research Lab. But, but if it's Professor Magnolia you're sinking, you'll find her at home. Down far... Down at the far end of Route 2. Ah, oh, crap. So basically, she's not here. That's the place right there. Should I discover this entire place or not? Never mind. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did. Wait, you did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Dude, it was right here. This big purple building. You did not notice that? See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with me. I know I'm I know I'm sure glad I've got Pokemon I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me. To keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. What the? A work? Oh, what the? I'm not gonna lie, that's adorable. That is actually adorable. What is it today, Leon? Looking for an info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Yes, I know you. The professor's uh, daughter. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here. Yamper, that's her name. 
The Emperor here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. And that trainer right there, Sonia, my bad. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she looks. She cooks, my bad. <laughs> I like the way she looks. She makes food. You can uh, gobble down in a flash. Wow, pretty and cook, that's... That's a combination. What kind of an introduction is that? Do you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just the Emperor helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name's Sonia. I'm the Professor's assistant. This is Playa. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him, set him on the right path, would you? What what does he think that I am? He's always got his big head in the class. There's nowhere he's got he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Here, hey there, Rotom. Wait, is actual Ronin? Wait, what? You told me I had a living Pokemon on my phone? It just lets itself be in that. It's li it's a living creature that treats itself as an inaudible wait okay it's a living creature that le that lit <sighs> let me get myself straight it's mind-boggling it's a living creature that treats itself as a unaudible object an audible object or an, an yeah an unaudible object like <sighs> Roman phones are handy little things aren't they You've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yep. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Pokemon phone. You can Pokedex. Oh, okay. So I can use my phone as Pokedex. Wow, that's... Something that should have been a trend since the beginning. So... Just so... Okay. Just so you know. Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along route, so can't you just call her? There's lots of books here. That is a greenhouse of some sort. That is the anatomy of a Pokemon. And some other stuff. That is a... What the... I'm not sure what the... I can't say what that is. It's obviously some some sort of, sort of uh, radar detection or some shit. I'm not gonna talk out of my ass like I know what it is. <laughs> so never mind. Lots of books. What is the Dynamax phenomena? Oh wow, this is actually um. Okay, I can't read those. What is the Dynamax phenomena? This phenomena is which in which Pokemon take on gigantic. Gigantic! Oh my gosh, <laughs> gigantic forms has only been observed in the Galar region. Moreover, it only seems to occur in specific locations and under set conditions. Okay. They took out Mega Evolution for that. That's actually depressing. Uh, Mega Evolution was my favorite um, mechanic ever introduced into this game. And I love how these characters interact with you if you get close to them. Leon's the right amazing champion, and I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Grand's official assistant either. I've got I've just been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little less What? Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. Restless. Oh, so you feel insignificant, don't you? Don't worry. You don't look that insignificant to me. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. Except the fat guy with science. I just left the Pokemon... Wait, you just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Can I get a Pokeball, please? It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP... Okay, I don't need to read that. 
Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can from your journey. Okay, first of all, I've been interacting with people so far, and they don't interact with me. I'm pressing A on them. And it only seems to work in P NPCs. <laughs> MP. NPCs. <laughs> What do you call these things again? NPCs in houses, but whatever. Man was wearing pentylopes. Alright, oh, so it is. If you get lost during your travels, don't forget to use your town map. So, let's go ahead and check this place out. You got your Prodex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Can, you, can I give you the option to give me a Pokedex or not? Because this really isn't essential. Uh, not to mention what battling other trainers can do. Luckily, we've got the Pokemon Centers. I should have reread that, my bad, because I tried to just. Whatever. Oh, it's monologuing. Look, that wasn't monologuing, but whatever. Luckier. Wait, luckier? Luckier yet. They're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever we go. I'm getting sidetracked. Can you stop making side comments? Come on, player. <laughs> but you've never been uh, inside one. Wow, this looks fancy. Level with me, player. Is this your first time to Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Oh, thank goodness. If you two kids are Pokemon traders, you might want to buy some potions before you have. Who are you calling a kid, bitch? Cheers, I'm already good, though. I'm headed to Route 2, player. Come find me, maybe when you're done here. Come find me when you're done here. Perfect, so this is what I need. Uh, you're fine. Pokedex. What do we got going on here, brother? So these are three Pokemon we just discovered. Number of times battled. It tells you information like that. What does it tell you about information of Pokemon that you have? When scared, this Pokemon cries. Obviously. It, its tears pack the chemical punch of 100 onions. And attackers won't be able to resist weeping. So if this Pokemon... Wait. So how does that work entirely? So its tears need to be in contact with this opponent? Or does its tears need to be... Nearest for a for a scent to give off because it it has a chemical punch of onions. I'm guessing it works like onions. Maybe it needs to be does a tear near your tears smell like onions or smell like a chemical? Or, uh, I just don't know. I wish that was more specific. Um, this habitat. Yeah, there's no way. Wait, switch languages. Oh, I can do that. Animations for it, that's cool. Mr. Gif. I actually do have something here. Um, for quick balls. Actually, what does that say? Take a, take a stroll with Pokeball Plus? What does this do? Place a Pokemon in your Pokeball Plus and take your Pokemon for a stroll. The more you walk and play with your Pokemon, the better the rewards you'll get in return. I doubt it. Get the wild area news? What does that mean? Oops, uh, no thank you. Truth is, I just still don't have internet. <laughs> this is being pre recorded. Okay, alright, I don't want to do that. Okay, we're good. So, this is a cafe? Those are old ass pictures right there. You got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask. Great and name nothing. Remember a move. Oh, you can do all this right here? Forget a move? Remember a move? Wow. And name rare. Oh my goodness. And this is in every Pokemon set? Who are you? Look like an Aldino. I'll be obtain you one day. Won't go to the Pokemon Mart, man. Help y'all. Yes, sir. You can definitely give me some. Wow. No Pokeballs. We do have revives. How about like five of them things? And I'm going to. How many? Doesn't. Oh, yeah, I have two. Awakenings, I'll buy two. 
you practically need to. You don't need to be cautious with these things. Uh, because I'll be obtaining more as I uh, play, th play through this game. Honestly, I don't need to buy these. But just to be a little cautious, I'll buy them. I have plenty of potions. Though. Okay, I have plenty of potions. I'm so thankful of Pokemon Centos. They fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free. She's kind of like pause mid sentence when she said free. I suppose that is something to be worth mentioning. Routine strainer, may I help you? Why are people using ruins as objects? Who started this trend? Who did this? You can keep extra Pokemon in your boxes. You don't say. You also have a battle box, that's cool. That's what it look like when you heal a Pokemon. Oh, that is... Ooh. Okay. My Sawbo's better now? Jesus, you specifically named my own specific Pokemon. That's crazy. This month's birthday hyroscope is spot on. Hyroscope? Hmm, do you want me to tell you of your fortune? Sure? Okay, in that case, can you can you tell me the month you were born? The month I was born. I was born on in your birth month. Oh. Oh seven. Oops. Uh go back, please. Next, I need to know what day you were born. I was born on the 5th. I was not born on the 4th of July 4th. No, unfortunately, I'm not that lucky. I got it. So your birthday was on July 5th. So since you were born on July 5th, your fortune is. Let's see here. Hmm, what's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smud smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. <laughs> People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. So far, I have not seen it. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. So anyway, see you later. Oh, she was dead. Okay. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer just like Leon. I can actually interact with these people. Berries, I got... Your fresh picked berries. Do you need some? Yes, I do, actually. I can use some orange berries. Let's grab five. The cherry berry. I don't need this because I have paralyzed heals. Um, holding this in while in a battle is kind of odd. I wouldn't understand why I would need that in that situation because an orange berry is kind of better because it gives you HP. A pollen is poison. I could just use a poison here. I can use the iron specifically. I, actually, you know what? Those... Nah. Wait. Yeah, those were cheaper, actually. I could have bought those instead of the actual iams from the marts. Ah. That was terrible. Oh, that's how you know, people. Buy yourself organic. It's cheaper. Actually, no, it isn't. What am I saying? Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. That's your opinion. Poke doll. I don't need that since uh, the can't wait. Why is that shiny? Is that shiny? Or is that just glowing? Okay, I guess I'm seeing things. It's fun to do some shopping in a botoke. Botoque. Botoque? Botoque or botoco? I never really read a word like this. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. I don't know words I don't usually read, so. Because honestly, there's there's millions of words, and I cannot remember all of them, and no one can. So trust me, uh, I'm no idiot. It's just that I'm human. I saw Leon at the station. Did I talk to these people? He has such a powerful presence. I recognized him before he got in the pose. Huh. Charger pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Um, that's, um, 
good. You people are some nice folks. You, sit, you take such a weird situation to uh, a heartwarming, uh, this heartwarming attention. I don't know. Leon's just amazing. He's the superstar of everyone. I used to, I used, I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Yep, you're right. Okay, so I went there. I had to talk to this lady, lady. Uh, going back to the route is useless because I don't have any Pokeballs. I'm supposing the professor gives me one. Actually, wait, wait. wait. Actually, let me do this real quick. I was almost about to forget. So here's my items. I was able to get so many revives. How much were these things? In, like, 1,200? No, 2,000. How much were they originally back in previous games? Like, 3,500? I believe. Oh, wait, I have Pokeballs. Where did I get these? I don't remember. Who gave me these? I saw it. Candies. I think I know what those are. Based on what I've been seeing online. Um, I have Pokeballs now. I can catch Pokemon. So, I'm gonna get ready for that. I think I saw him over here. He's gonna pop up right on the screen. There we go. He's a laser. Did I talk about? If you're looking for the professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home at the lake. Okay, there's actually a useless information at, at the same time useful because I don't know where her house really is. In the hot morning, my Pokemon wakes up, wakes me up, and I'm, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. I can, and I live in that world. Listen, player, I've been thinking. If you're in a Pokemon trainer, if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Gym challenge? Why is it called gym challenge instead of? No, never mind. The annual competition where trainers can bow. It's out for the eight for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Endorsed. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to, up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she can help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the very thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor house, professor's house is way down at the end of Rock 2, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along with the way. Alright. My timer's still up, right? I have eight, three minutes left. Okay. Hello, good sir. Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? He <laughs> was left to that bad. Are you serious? Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go at all out, he, even on our practice matches. Right, right. There's the this guy looking at him. Basics of Pokemon trainers, lesson one. Oh, really? The Pokemon at the top of your team. Well, let's go first. Yes. Wait, no. Let's talk, let's talk to him. Lesson 2, don't for forget to record your progress often. Doesn't this game have auto save now? Hello. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Look this guy posing while looking at a lake. You see that house in the distance? Is that her house with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Jeez, man. That's a mansion. Oh, I love to, <laughs> to pay attention to the detail right when I, was, when I was walking up here. It slowed me down, which is what it should have done. Got two. Over here, player. Oh my god, Bally. Alright, player, it's time we fill in our teams a bit. Fill in our teams. I haven't even caught a Pokemon yet. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling that Pokedex. Lee, where you come from? Yeah, this guy keeps showing up out of nowhere. Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. 
That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover one's other's weakness, one another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. I've never seen a champion so um, involved. So well, he even poses as he battles. This is the way a real champion does it. I'm guessing that's what he said. I'm not sure. Wait, what is he doing? He has 50 Pokeballs. Look at that. Wait, you haven't even weakened it, brother? And secondly, your Pokemon is... It's so weak. Why are you using weak Pokemon? Where's that little grass type you just got? Typical Lee. I'll, I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainers team, wouldn't you say? Oh shit. Well, this time. You obtained 20 Pokeballs. Oh, moly. The Pokemon on our teams will... The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Will it? How? And of course, they get experience points from battles. So take on the other trainers. You me along the path to help your Pokemon, uh, your, help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Well, we're gonna save right here. I'm gonna keep these short and nice. Save progress. Okay, guys, we'll be back next time. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back.